What's up, Commodores fans? I'm Sean Oldred, Director of Broadcasting for the Falmouth Commodores this upcoming season. I am here with Trey Redfield, Carter Bainbridge, Logan Safranco, and I'm excited for this season. Um, obviously, you know, coming off the 2021 season, the Doors just missed the playoffs, but there's a lot to be excited for coming into this season. We've got three new voices in the broadcast booth. And, you know, Trey, do you want to start off the introductions here? Absolutely. Why not, Sean? What's going on, Commodore Nation? Uh, my name is Trey Redfield. I'm from uh, Holly Springs, North Carolina. It's just 15 minutes south of Raleigh. I go to Syracuse University. I'm a junior there, majoring in broadcast and digital journalism. Uh, last year, I was with the Moorhead City Marlins in the uh, Coastal Plain League. Um, and so, and that was a lot of fun, learned a lot of stuff there. And I'm looking forward to bringing what I was able to do down on the Crystal Coast up on the Cape this summer. I'm really looking forward to beating the people in Falmouth and, uh, and hopefully beating the Commodores, or excuse me, not the Commodores, the Catsleers a couple of times. Not beating, you can't beat your own team, right? You can't, there's, there's no way you can do that. All right, Carter, let's hear a little bit about yourself. Sure. Uh, what's up, Commodore fans? My name is Carter Bainbridge. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. And like Trey, I'm a junior at Syracuse University right now, majoring in broadcast and digital journalism, minoring in sport management. Uh, last summer, I worked for the Ashboro Copperheads in the Coastal Plain League. So go to the same school as Trey. We worked in the same league last summer. I was able to be on air, get some great experience down there with the Copperheads being their play-by-play -play broadcaster last season. And just like the Commodores last summer, the Copperheads just barely did miss the playoffs. So hopefully Falmouth can make it uh, this summer. And I'm ready to get started. I think it's going to be a great opportunity. And in, this summer is going to be a lot of fun. Great stuff. Logan? All right. Well, how are we doing, everybody? Uh, my name is Logan Sanfarenko. I'm from Pasadena, California. I'm currently at Thousand Oaks going to California Lutheran University, where I'm a sophomore. I'm a double major in sports broadcasting, as well as uh, theater and dance. So a nice little mix we have together. Uh, last summer, I was actually a public address announcer in the California Collegiate League with the Conejo Oaks. That led to me getting the Ontario Reign backup position, the AHL minor league affiliate of the LA Kings. Uh, I currently do play-by-play -play for the volleyball team at Cal Lutheran, where I'll also be doing men's basketball, softball, and women's lacrosse. Uh, and I got the opportunity to do the Falmouth Commodores broadcasting internship this summer, and it's going to be such a great year preparing, uh, you know, following along the CCBL last year was just such a fun, you know, experience and going the other to the other coast is going to be fun as well. Uh, and also it's going to make me pretty happy. This uh, Red Sox fan is finally coming home, but it's going to be a great summer with Falmouth. We got a good team, so it's going to be excited when, along with Carter and Trey. So it's going to be going to be a good time. Definitely a great team excited for this season. I know I'm really excited to see what the doors were able to do back on the field, back at the gov this year. Uh, what are you guys excited for? You know, first time being in Falmouth, um, you know, on and off the field, uh, you know, what's most exciting for you guys? Well, uh, Sean, I would say the most exciting thing is just getting back, getting back into a broadcast booth, putting on a headset and a scorebook's right in front of you to, to call and score a baseball game. There's nothing wrong with, there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's always a good time. And uh, the team that we have, um, what we're, what we're going to be able to bring, is something I think can really go a long way. It's going to set an example across the uh, Cape League and people who will who will see us whether will will see us whether it's on YouTube or just out and about. Um, we're really looking. I I am personally personally excuse me <laughs> um, to bring something forward, bring something great, and um, and just gosh, can it be June yet? That that's what I'm know, most excited for. I'm most excited for the month of June. Carter, what about you? Yeah, a lot of the same stuff. I mean, for me, it just comes down to the new opportunities. Uh, it'll be my first time on the Cape. Uh, so first job in the league, first time even being in the area. So I know that might be a little bit jarring for anybody who goes there regularly, but I'm really excited to get out there and, and see Falmouth just as a town, ready to see the team and what they can bring to the table this summer. And I'll definitely never take uh, calling or watching live baseball for granted again, you know, after the last couple of years. So that's always such a great thing to be able to watch, you know, some baseball being played right in front of you and even better to be calling it. So I think we've got something special going. Absolutely. Absolutely. Logan, what about you? Yeah, I'm excited not only just to explore Falmouth and the entire Cape Cod, 
I'm excited for a weather change. I know that sounds weird. I know, obviously, rainouts are a big thing in the CCBL. They actually play, you know, a big factor in the standings. But I'm excited just to be on the other end of the country, just literally learning about the town, learning about the squad, uh, really getting to know these players personally, knowing, you know, what they're doing during the previous season and what they're doing in the upcoming season at their prospective college and just getting them, you know, a good time and delivering good content to everyone watching the stream games or, you know, you could be at the stadium at, at Fuller Field looking up and say, oh, look, there's Carter and Trey and oh, there's Logan over by the first base dugout. So it'll be a fun little summer. I'm excited. Definitely, definitely will be. So you guys mentioned that, you know, a lot of you haven't been on the Cape before. Um, I'll tell you firsthand, it is a wonderful place. Um, a lot of stuff to do. Um, anything off the field you guys are looking forward to? Beach, anything like that? Um, personally, Monat Beach and Falmouth would be my go-to spot. So definitely recommend. What about you guys? Just a community. Just walking around and experiencing everything. I can't give you a firm answer yet because, like Carter, I haven't been on the Cape before. Um, you know, but one thing that I really learned about where I was in Moorhead City last summer was that there are really good people, people that really loved their Moorhead City Marlins. And I'm really looking forward to seeing a very similar group of people loving their Falmouth Commodores um, and just enrich, just being able to be a part of a place for a summer is really going to is really going to put a smile on my face. I'm looking forward to um just interacting with so many different people that love one thing in particular, and that's the film of Commodores. It's good stuff. Good stuff. What about you, Carter? Yeah, well, like you said, I've never been to the Cape before, and this is, you know, something I feel really uh, excited about just to spend some time at the beach. Maybe we talked about it a little bit earlier, you know, going to catch a Red Sox game or, or anything like that. And all I've heard about Falmouth as a town is that it's just beautiful and a great place to spend the summer, whether you're working or, if you're just going there for fun for a summer. So I can't wait. Definitely, definitely. What about you, Logan? I'm excited for 4th of July. I, I know that <clears throat> 4th of July on the Cape is kind of fun and especially a uh, little rivalry we got going on with uh, Katuit. So uh, that's going to be a fun thing to anticipate. But also uh, outside from like the baseball world, just being in the community, uh, wherever we end up living, you know, I feel like it's going to be good memories and memories we're going to have because we're going to be there the entire summer. It'll be the longest I've been away from home. So it'll be it'll be not only interesting to see how that goes, but also how the town you know embraces us. I guarantee we'll be wearing our our Falmouth you know, sweatshirt or our baseball cap. I, I guarantee every day of the summer we'll be having something on and it's not leaving our body. You know, so it's going to be going to be a good time. Very, very true. The community is really what makes Falmouth special. And I think everybody who has interned here, works here, has been around the team um, would agree with that. So I'm so glad that you guys are excited for that. Uh, going into a little bit more of the baseball side, you know, favorite team, uh, favorite player, you know, let's hear it. Um, a lot of these guys probably played on the Cape at some point. You know, it is the best summer league in the nation. So let's hear it, guys. Yeah, um, it's none other than the Boston Red Sox. I mean, why not? You know, I'm a, it's weird. Raleigh, North Carolina, a Red Sox fan. My dad grew up in Hartford. So it's really, um, it was the deciding factor, you know, Yankees, Sox, my dad picked the right way, went with his route and the rest is history. Um, love the Boston Red Sox always have. And whenever there's an off day, who knows, maybe you and I will see each other at Fenway Park. That'd be pretty cool. Um, my favorite player, it's none other, none other than X Man. I love Xander Bogarts. I uh, loves, I love what he brings to the table. Um, uh, the fact that he doesn't have a C on his jersey yet is a little hurts me a little bit. But I really think he's the leader of this team. He's some of that team. Uh, I just love what he brings to the table. Huge Sox, huge X Man fan. I don't know about the right way, Trey, but whoa, uh, <laughs> okay, Mister Yankee fan, okay. <laughs> What I mean, what, right, whatever Carter. you say, whatever you say. Yeah. <laughs> Carter, we'll move on to you. Uh, you know, break up the Yankees Red Sox rivalry a little bit. <laughs> sure. I'll, I'll break up the fight by being kind of the oddball of the group. Uh, so I'm a Chicago Cubs fan. It's a little bit different. I am from Nashville, Tennessee. Got into it uh, because of my dad, who grew up in uh, Carmel, Indiana. So he made a lot of trips to Chicago and he's been watching them since the 70s. So it's been a long time and I picked him up as a kid. Um, not a lot of recognizable players left on the Cubs after last summer. You guys know that very well, but I would say one of my favorites is still there and that's Kyle Hendricks, their starting pitcher. 
just have a soft spot on my heart for guys who don't throw very hard. I like watching him pitch and with just a lot of command and movement and, and control pitchers like that. I always appreciate them a little bit more maybe than guys who throw one Oh two. So always, always a spot in my heart for Kyle Hendricks and always watch him pitch when he does. Totally, totally agree with that about the soft throwing pitchers. Uh, Logan, let's move on to you. I think we get a little more Red Sox action here. Yep, another uh, another another Sox fan here, uh, the West Coast kid. Um, you know, every time they're in town playing the Angels, I always go down. Uh, they don't play the Dodgers much. I think they played them once in the regular season back in 2016. Uh, we Stephen Wright threw the old knuckleballer through an 8-0, eight nothing shutout. But uh, my dad's from Concord, Carlisle, so he raised me all New England sports. Uh, like Trey, I like Xander Bogarts. I really hope he doesn't decline his option after the 2022 season. But uh, I am old school. I, I love David Ortiz. I grew up with him. Um, you know, outside of Tom Brady, you know, that's 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 a player I grew up with. And you know, that final series where we got swept by Cleveland, and that was his that was his farewell season. And you know, he got out of the game to get pinch run for in the ninth because we had a little rally going in Game Three. I got a little teary eyed, and I was like, and Travis Shaw popped out, but. Yeah, big Sox fan, um, big baseball fan, but we're not even going Red Sox. I love Freddie Freeman. I, I I want him to win a World Series so bad. Like I love I'm a I love first baseman and I love Freddie Freeman. So yeah, Sox fan. I can appreciate Freddie Freeman though. Good stuff. How can he not like Freddie Freeman and what he's doing with this Braves team at the moment? Um, obviously, there'll be a lot to talk about, a lot of baseball on the way. You'll be hearing from these three all year long in the booth. Um all summer, they'll be on the stream, uh, ready to go and excited for it. Um, you know, they want to talk to you out in public, anywhere, downtown Falmouth, come out, approach them um, and just talk baseball. So that'll wrap up our introductions here. Um, but definitely look forward to more content to come from these three guys um, that'll be out in all our social medias. Um, and hopefully you guys will get to know these three uh, before the season even starts. So good stuff here today and uh, signing off for Trey, Carter, and Logan. I'm Sean Oldred and uh, have a good day. Hold on.